Guys, let's do a formation, please, everybody. Do a formation, Professor Julio. All right. <laughs> guys, step, everybody, guys, step one. One step in the front, please. Let's see what we're going for here. <laughs> Thank you very much for inviting to show up. Okay. Uh, you know, all the time I bring this guy here, uh, he's been coming here for since he worked in the academy for almost 20 years. You know, and he's always gave us a, like a amazing seminar. I'm sure you guys are gonna be a lot of, very happy today. And uh, you know, his seminar is unique. Okay, the way he teach, the way he explain the positions. No, the way he, 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 he you know, he conduct his class, all right? Uh, Julius has, has a lot of experience. You know, he's a, one of the second generation of, of black girls from Carson Graves. I'm the fourth generation. And, you know, when I started Carson, he was already, a, you know, one of the top guys here. You know, he was a red a brown belt. And, uh, uh, and my best friends today, we had a Russian team together. You guys know that we have a business together. So it's not just my friend, I'm a business partner. So, but uh, you know, more important like, man, like you have these guys that inspiration. And Richard too, you know, like, you know, these two guys next to me here for me is inspiration. You know, Judy's six years old, she trains Jiu Jitsu every day, she's surfing, she's still snowboarding, she's still like, doing yoga, man, like, you know, don't stop. You know, he make me tired, actually. You know, like, uh, and Richard too, man, like, you know, 70 something you now, like a uh, 70? Yeah, 48. 48. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so teaching us was here every Tuesday morning and training, teaching, a, teaching a, at another school in San Diego. You know, uh, been my students since day one, too. My, 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 one of my longest black belt, my oldest black belt here. Before I trained for us, I teach with trainers with uh, Fabio Santos, you know, for a while. You know, so. Uh, Today's a very important day for the academy. We do this like twice a year only. You know, we don't do this every time. You know, uh, I know how so, so many good jiu-jitsu schools around San Diego today. But uh, you know, when the guys do seminars, I talk to you about this. Uh, see this as an investment. You know, see this is like something that you're investing to your future. You know, we are gonna be always learners. We're gonna be always a, a jiu-jitsu student. Always. I love for myself as a jiu-jitsu student and learn from Peter right now to learn do today. I love for myself as a Christian. But that is still learning every day. With you guys, they you know they they just you know I do seminars when I'm you know, I go to different schools to train, all like you know, so you're gonna be that's a kind of a sport they're gonna die learning and that's make guys like them keep training and keep pushing and keep coming here every day. You know, you guys know how it is. You know, you can be this black belt here in the front, five degrees. If I stop for six months for some reason or well, like Related or injury, I come back here probably be back for good jobs. It is what it is. Okay, I hope I'll be training every day here, and I saw that before many times. Okay, so it's not one time, two times, I saw that many times. So, you guys enjoy it, okay? It's gonna be the same night, gonna go along with, so 10 10, 10 right now, I'm gonna finish about 12 15, okay? Then I'm gonna have a bell promotion, okay? So, it's a lot of people from the school here coming for the bell promotion. So I asked him for the guys that's not from this academy, okay, guys from Barun, guys from Chula Vista Academy, guys from UFC Gym. You guys can change it, you guys can, of course can sit down and watch the level pro the promotion. Or if you go home, you go home. Okay, no problem at all. But it's gonna have a lot of people in the mats. And unfortunately I don't have a too big in mat space. Alright? So have fun guys. Julia, thank you very much for coming. Okay, hey guys, uh, you know, I've been coming here for many years now. Uh, sometimes to compete, sometimes to, to train, sometimes to teach. And it's always a pleasure. I like California because there's a surfing, you know. I grew up with surfing. You know, my first sport, uh, as a matter of fact, was surfing. My brother seven, I was five, and that's when I started surfing in front of the beach. In Carson School was three blocks from my house. I grew up in Copacabana. And, uh, you know, I always see Carson, and I kind of, you know, I was a teenage, and uh, Carson was always bugging people. Oh, I want to introduce you. And I said, okay, Carson, I'll be there tomorrow. And, oh, Carson comes again, man, let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
But you know, at some point, you know, I started doing Jiu Jitsu. I think I was about 17 years old. And um, I never stopped. It was not easy. You know, Cash was a, you know, a different guy than everybody else. Uh, I was always a light guy. I took a lot of punishment. <laughs> you know, sometimes I remember going home with my kimono underneath my arm. Sit in the back of the bus there. You know, I got married, I didn't have a car. Sit in the back of the bus. Man, I don't know anything. You know, I was there, took a lot of punishment. <laughs> Going home, and I have a blank on my head. <laughs> Go home, my wife opened the door, look at me and said, Man, can you pay to do this? <laughs> my face is all red. <laughs> and I said, Well, I don't know. Man. I'll take a shower, look myself in the mirror. Another tough day, man. I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Persevere, you know. Sometimes it's tough, you know. Life will make it hard for you. You bang your head, you fall on the ground, just like the Japanese fake says, right? Uh, fall seven times, stand up eight. <laughs> you gotta keep going, you know. No life to live, and that's what I did. You know, kind of fight. It took me 15, 15 years to get a black belt, you know. I completed all the belts, I tell you that. I still competed a couple years ago in a World Masters. And, uh, you know, it's been a, a great uh, experience. You know, I tell my guys, it kind of, you know, it's not a destination, it's a lifestyle that you choose and you keep doing. You know, some days are better than others. Some days you feel some fantastic. Sometimes some you have injuries. You gotta go through those injuries and you gotta persevere. You know, that's my, my message. Persevere. Uh, keep your ego on the side, you know, because, uh, you know, ego, you know, you're gonna get you in trouble. Uh, you're always gonna find bigger guys uh, stronger guys, maybe more technical guys. And you have to learn from that. Not try to fight them, but kind of, you know, uh, you basically not fight and then you fight fighting yourself because your ego just don't let you uh, learn more. You know, you have to be open-minded, like Rodrigo said. You know, to be honest with you, the main reason I come to California is not only to teach or whatever, it's for me to learn too. I see new people, I see different guys, I see other options. You know, I always learn. I want to learn until I, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like I can do jiu-jitsu. My plan is to be around forever. <laughs> I know that's not going to happen, but you know, jiu-jitsu is part of my life, and I keep going. You know, uh, my mission is to help other people to get better. You know, because I think that jiu-jitsu is going to help you to get better as a better person. You know, the, talk about the lifestyle, the diet. You eat too much, man. You come in here, you can move. You get drunk, well, <laughs> you know, come in here in a fog. I, I, I went to all those phases, you know. <laughs> and I tell you that from my experience. You know, guys, uh, at some point, you gotta say, man, I'm punishing myself, you know. And then you start to think that kind of it's easier to do something on a regular basis than, uh, you know, try to always be behind the ball and try to, to get better when you're ready with a bunch of problems. You know, we're gonna start here today with a. Uh, Couple take downs that I, I think that I can use that on self defense. You know, I like take downs. I, uh, I back in the day, cars used to do like a record run. Uh, and talk about the 70s. Nobody did a no gi back in the day. The, the other side of the Gracie family, the only red the kimono, cars used to start their training every Saturday was no gi. It was only one day of it. But uh, I talk about 1975, you know, and uh, you know, I always did a little greco Roma there. I had a bunch of classes in my school. And uh, you know, I incorporate uh, with the wrestling, with the judo. And I did a little judo when I was a kid with a, you know, uh, basic take it down. Because I think I kind of you know, got to put the guy on his back and be on top, you know. And that's part of my game. You know, uh, people try to be aggressive on you. You have to turn around to be on top. I like the top game, you know. I never jump a guard with anybody. I was taken down before, you know. But, you know, I think that kind of, you know, uh, if you people come to attack you, whatever, you know, the more you just survive, then win. You know, you survive the confrontation, and uh, you go to the top, right? We're gonna start, you know, I see people here all levels. You're gonna start maybe easy, and then you're gonna get more sophisticated, you know? Uh, because you gotta, you gotta understand that kind of, you know, 
Uh, the guys in the front, these guys have been around longer. The guys in the back, they're going to get here at some point. You know, we have to respect the new generation because at some point, they might be better than you. You know, they might be helping you. Today you help them, tomorrow they help you. You know, that's the way it goes, right? And like I said, you're going to do a, some uh, couple take down here. Then you're going to go to the floor here. I uh, still debating myself here. We're going to do a little side control because it's kind of, you know, a lot of times people, they get to the side of the guy. I was in a, the wars this past weekend, right? And uh, I saw, you know, don't take me wrong, I'm not talking bad about anybody, but uh, I saw people pass the guard, get there, 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 suddenly they decide again, or they have to guard, or whatever. You know, that means the holding techniques need to work, you know? Uh, uh, finishing, right? Some of these guys, top level guys, I see a couple of those guys, Ushish, uh, uh, Young Low, uh, the other one, Herbert, whatever. <clears throat> 10 fights, 8 fights, 7 fights, one submission. 16 points one guy, 22 points on the other guy. So what is the submission? You put 7 points in the dude, they got finishing. You know, kind of stuff. You know, I don't know if they take any products or whatever, they, kind of, they, they, they can fight forever. But you know, to be honest you, if you fight 3 fights, and they are, uh, they are hard fights, you cannot even close your hands well. You know, I don't know how these guys can do that. To be honest with you. But, well, I think that you know, we have to work up submissions, you know, because you cannot depend on you know, conditioning forever, you know. The technique is a kind of, you know, we're gonna get, keep it going. But like I said, we're gonna do our techniques here, we're gonna start with the take downs. Uh, we're gonna start with the easy take downs, footwork, position of your head, and uh, then from there, we're gonna go uh, uh, single leg take downs, put the guy on his back. How to avoid people, because I saw a bunch of people there too. They got one foot to the guy, and suddenly the guys are already on his feet. You know, well, if you had a single guy, how that guy could stand up again? That's impossible. I'm gonna show how to hold the foot of the guy, to avoid him to put the foot back on the floor. That he's not gonna, you know. Once he got one foot out of the floor, I gotta put that guy down on his back for him to score the two points. And uh, I think the guy's gonna have a good time. You know, uh, you have any, any question, let me know. And, uh, you know, that's what the heart here, right, guys? <laughs> Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is the two match, okay? You have a small match, but then I can see the body people. Hey, take a look here, guys. The guys in front of me. You could have a foot in front, foot on the side, you know, it doesn't matter. Foot parallel, depending if it has a foot or not in the front, he give me the, the take it down, right? So you're gonna start easy here for the Osotogari. Everybody knows the Sotogari, right? Entry level technique, when you start doing jiu-jitsu, this is the first uh, take it down they're gonna, yeah, one thing here. Never grab it here, because his uh, arm is strong with the hand, right? I grab it here, close to his knee, and there is another thing here. See my elbow on the side, I lock it. Because if I have my elbow open, he can insert the hand here, not gonna have a hard time. He can got a step back, you know. See? I started to get defensive. I don't want to get defensive. I told you guys that, right? I want to attack the guy. Okay, I hold it here and I lock my elbow. See? Now if you push the arm, put it down there. If you push me. See? I kind of uh, I lock it here and I lock it here. Or the other side with the left hand, right? I'm gonna go for my Soto guy here. I see his foot parallel. Lock your fist, because if I hit his arm with my hand open, I can bring my fingers. I, I lock it. I'm gonna go over when I do my step. See that my hand is back. If he steps back when I do my step, step back here. Step back, back. Here. Okay. Do what you got. If he stays with that foot, Soto guy, right? I want to have a bunch of options here that I have a two or three inches with the same grip. Same grip. Oh, here. Now look that. Right? They're going to have you guys doing one, two, three. Take a look. There is a, a problem here. I can't step with outside leg because he's on my back now. Right? Another thing here. I step in the back leg, he can kick my leg and give me the super leg. Right? Bang. See? I'm going to prepare my footwork. One side. 
or the side. One side. Just uh, to do my footwork, right? Rodrigo said that, well, don't let people throw each other here hard because this is a small room here. One thing here, when I do my step, put that arm out there. Not gonna happen. You got luck. Right? When I do my step, I love to do it. That's it. That's it. Let me have you guys start with the sort of guy in there. One, two, three. Uh, trying to remove the sleeve, more take it down to give it to me. Okay, he's gonna start getting tentative. I'm not sure on his leg, too, you know, because he can't remove this. And how you gonna lock it? Here, here, on my body, right? Well, I lock the guy. A few things here. When I do my step, if I step too close, can't bring the other leg. Step too far away, my leg can't go there, right? I have to step about the foot outside here. Right? And when I step, arm goes over, I have my head. My foot goes to my head. In the same line here. I am in balance. Right? Controlling the guy. And now I have a lot of pressure here. This entry can give it a Soto guy, a Uchi guy, Bolsonaro, you know, single leg. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna get there, but we're gonna go one step at a time. A Soto guy, hold this living hand. Lock it. Lock your elbow, your fist. Over and under. Step. Do it outside. Lock your hand. Open this up the back. Let's give it a try. Let's go slow there, guys. One, two, three. Shoot over here because his arms are here, right? I want to set up always here, inside. Every time I'm here, inside. Let's say I try to grab, he puts the hand inside, I go. Right? He puts the hand inside, right? I switch. Here, here, here I go inside. Okay, here we go. Goes inside, back. Goes back, go inside. Okay, here, here, inside. Here, 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 here
He, I always decided to die. Follow him around the crowd. I want to be inside. <laughs> Always inside the guy. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm gonna have a shot on In the moment that I'm here, inside his arms, right? Because it's it. I have to attack the guy. I can choose each side, with right hand or left handed or whatever it is. I block it here. But if the elbow is low, I push it in. Right? Either way. Inside or push it in. Right? See, when I'm here, control the guy, he steps, well, see, that's my shot right here. So I pull his head down. I know the guy wanna push him, for sure. He doesn't wanna be low there, but if he gets low, easy for me to take him down, right? They can hit you. Inside, low, if he stays low, right? I don't see the guy gonna stay low. And here, when the guy head goes up, you put the cabeza up. See, when the head goes up, I bring between my legs. And here, let's say, you can bear one, he stays up. I do this. Now he can't remove the foot anymore. But the pen is on. Is it here? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Leg drag. See, leg drag, I don't do this. But if I do this, his leg gets free to push me. I get here. Hey. Okay. See? I put my hips forward. Inside. <laughs> He's watching that way, I'm watching that way. I'm gonna be looking 90 degrees. He pulls the head up. Grab my head. Here I am, right? Boom! One more time. Be careful here because you see, I always say don't take the guy down but do the moves, right? Because you're gonna take the guy down on top of the people, gonna hurt somebody. Inside, shot, good, here I am, maintain the distance. One, two, three. I do my shot on a guy, I'm here, I leave my foot here, you know, I have the free hand, right? I'm here, you can go and grab my foot. Oh, I have to pay guard, you know? Bad name, right? When I shoot on a guy, they can look at my foot. See? All the way there, here. See? My hand on his hip. I can start setting up big guys, you know. I leave my foot in front of him. Go. Two points for him. You know? I can't do that, right? <coughs> I block the arm. I do my shot. My leg goes all the way. Hey. Right? I don't want the guy coming up anymore. So when you do that, right? Do your shot. And here. Even with the shoulder behind his knees, good. Right? You can go with the other leg. Let's give it a shot to be 100% sure that you do that rotation. One, two, three.
And uh, that was the training that we did a couple of years ago. It was a bunch of rounds here. And um, my advice for you is like uh, these this techniques. Come with your friend here, go in the corner and repeat them. You know, and you start creating the angle. Maybe just the guy standing up in front of you for you to <coughs> work in the rotation. That's it. <laughs> the guy is up there, right? You touch it. You know, you touch. gotta be 17 inches away from the guy to shoot on him. If I shoot from here, he's gonna shoot on my back. Right? If you say with me, let's say with me, kind of, you hear the cleats, I turn in the head, elbows, then I go for the take down. Right? I'm not gonna shoot for the take down here, I'm gonna very far away from the guy. You know? Well, I'm going to show you guys something here. Let's say you shoot over here, right? I'm going to do this. For my shoulder, I showed this position the other day. The bottom of my shoulder is a bone here. I'm going to put it right here. I'm not here on him. But here he's deep on my legs. I'm here on him. There's hard for him to reach my legs. See? I'm here. Shoulder to shoulder. Right? I strong him. If I need to maintain him down, right? Yeah, if the guy stop putting the hand in the front of this, see? He can maintain him down. Right? I'm ahead. I'm not going to work on some issue. Because I know the guy wants to stretch down outside the body. Right? I got here, right? I put one hand on his neck. Strong him, put my hand right here. I'm waiting for this guy if the hand comes on my leg. If the hand comes on my leg, I say my arm, I'm not gonna roll here. I'm gonna catch him the loop choke, right? He comes, I strong him, right? Shoulder to the back of his shoulder, my hand on his neck. I'm here, I see this man comes here. He doesn't have the power, but he open here now. My palm go up behind his head and I roll here. I finish my body on him. Can you see if you guys can do that one more time, right? Scroll the guy, shoulder to shoulder, right? My hand on his neck. That's my setup. I see the light coming in. Right? My hand is going to go inside here. And I roll the same way. Right? Hand goes, roll that side. You see the floor. Think you guys can do that one? Okay, so you strong the guy. Drill up. And give it a little bit too deep, right? You huh? your grip's kind of a little loose. Yeah, drip are kind of loose. Don't have it. Because you're going to tie when you roll. Yeah. Right? When you start feeling, stop. So don't put your, your hand too deep in my neck, otherwise you don't have the angle to roll, you know? So you want to- Everybody keep, got it? The hand will lose. Everybody got it? Yeah. One, two, three. So the back part of my hand will come to the neck here. I'm gonna roll, 
music can do the show from here. You can finish the guy right here. Now both roll, he roll, when he puts back in the floor, look how long my body now. See my body here? Look, I'm gonna move my body a little bit. And now I scissor my body, and I put my belly down. And now what I'm gonna do my big choke is my left hand watch. I'm gonna come all the way now, kids. The left hand make a choke. Look, I'm gonna lift my elbow here. Look, my right hand doesn't move up. Okay? So some guys do like this, like the hand come under your arm. See that? Wrong. See that? Your arm now is useless here. See, it cannot go here. It's here. Oh, it's, it's over the arm. Over the arm. So watch. Behind the head. Right? Watch. Who is grip? Four fingers in, okay? Like the right one's grip. My hand go. The back of my hand will be behind the neck. Look, all the way inside. He rolled. I put my head in his chest here, see? Now watch the end of my body, watch. I move my body a little bit. Now I seal my body, so I don't roll his body together. I cannot keep his body right here. If he rolls, he's gonna, he's gonna escape the choke. So I have to keep both right here. What keep him both right here is this control here. On his Can't right arm, anymore. see? Try to roll the way, both. Let's jump out. Go at his arm. If you go right there, he rolls. Yeah. Both. So I block him right here, see that? I put my head, I can lock him stop right here. I put my head in his chest, I adjust the end of my body, and I just seal my legs, so I put my belly down. Now, my left hand come behind the neck and the other arm, please. See? And here's the choke right here. I just lift my watch. <laughs> That's a choke right here. So, two mistakes people doing, watch. First, the hands too deep. Two mistakes. The hands too deep cannot not work. And the most important is this. When you roll, you put a hand here, inside arm. See that? That's wrong. It has to be here, not here. Okay? And now they say people roll it together here. Look, you roll together and don't. Don't roll together. You stop right here. You lock the guy right there. He's stuck right here. See? I have a control right now. You put a head in his chest, that's the way you have over. See? Now watch. Watch now. I put my belly down, I can just my body. I just sit on my leg. When I sit on my leg, I snake my arm, you know. Hey. See? Now walk my hand. Yeah. I can put the hand on the floor or I can put it right here. So put it right here, make it better. Choke it there. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's try it. So what's your trip? Somebody's here in Asai over there. <laughs> 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 <You know? laughs> I got my, my grip on the guy, squeeze my elbows against me, put my ear on his ear. Right? And have a, a, a meeting with this guy here. And if my head is here, he comes. See? I can hurt my toe. I am here, put the hand here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dude, I feel it in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I have to maintain pressure there, right? Okay, let's start with the, the holding there. Put your face on the side of the guy, squeeze well, ear with the ear. Tell the guy to, to move around there. Let's go there. One, two, three. <laughs>
Papa. chassis here with elbow here, you know, I might go to the knee on top, right, because uh, if I don't have time to do my drills, I want to put the knee on top of him because, you see, he might expose his arms if he, if he can push him, right? But if I am here, when the guy start moving, I can do this, see, walk around his head, right? We're going to do two, three drills here, two actions. One when he moves in, right, because he wants to go my leg, I'm going to push his head down, Hey, walk around. Push the head down. Walk around. Push the head down. Walk around. Push the head down. Walk around. Oh, shh. Put him back in there. I like this. Don't take me wrong. You know, I like the guy is good because it's hard for him to do anything. See, take a look at here. See, my back up. If I got his legs between my legs, see? I'm gonna do this. Side leg. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't care anymore. See? I lock him in. Head and arm. Right? Oh, he holds the belt. See? He's locked. He doesn't go anywhere. Right? He put the, the hand between my leg. Where the guy's going? Stay right here, right? Let's do the first drill, you know, just to get the guy going. He comes, head, behind the head, palm up. And it's on him. Say, cook the guy until I'm here. Let's do the drill. Hand behind the head, push the head, walk around. One more time. Slow motion. He comes. One, two. Strong. One, two. Strong. One, two. Strong. Let's give it a try there. One, two, three. Why he doesn't come with the hand in front of my hip? Because the mouth on right? We're gonna come with the hand behind my hip, right? See? Because uh, he knows the hand in front of my hip, I'm more than guy. You know, his hand has to come around behind. Right? When I push, you're gonna push my hand all the way. See? Take a look at you. Step way behind his head, get to the other side, right? 
I'm going to do all the way to the other side. Right? My hands, I see my hand pop, I'm going to grab my feet. Yeah, yeah, like really old, right? like really fast. When I grab this leaf, my elbow goes to the floor, not here, there. And I turn around him, follow him, see a hook at him. I see if I need to submit him. I have to lock him right there. Right? I grab and I do this. Move my elbow forward. But other than that, he's had a pop. Right? I told you guys how to switch from one side to the other side, right? When he goes now, see? Grab this lead, forward. Now elbow to the floor. See how his head stays there? Turn around. See? I just uh, put the pressure to do, right? Yeah. Add it to the drill I had before, right? Maintain control, maintain control, maintain control. Now we're gonna put the choke on him, right? When he turns, when you push the head, right? Here. Grab this lid. Back. See my shoulder? Let me see if you guys can do that one here. Be careful there when you start feeling, stop. One, two, three. Butterfly guy basically sitting with his legs in front of the guy. Sometimes when we start with the the guy, whatever, you know, just playing with the other guy. I don't like to have my legs here. There's too much weight on, on, on my legs, you know, the guys are heavy and they put the weight on you. You know, I kind of gotta understand one thing here. When you weigh about 150, it's different than when you weigh 180, 200, whatever, you know. Usually if I spar with the guy open guard, I'm right here. Because you see, I kind of, if I maintain the guy here, my leg is outside, he has to decide which side he's gonna go. Right, because no way he's gonna grab both legs at the same time, pass my guard. But if you're here, well, this is, he can grab both, right? You know, but how I'm gonna get in here? You know, that's the kind of the problem when you start doing jiu-jitsu. And you think, well, you know, I wanna play seated guard, butterfly guard, whatever. How I'm gonna get to this point here that he can do that, you know? Because believe me or not, if, if you got here and you stop training on this, at some point you're gonna get more comfortable here. But if you never try, well, you're never gonna play open guard. Because uh, you don't give it a try, right? Okay, I'm gonna do, uh, and I did that the other day here for class here, you know, from the close guard to the butterfly guard, and then I work a couple of submissions on the guy, right? Let's say I have the guy in my close guard here, right? And uh, I'm here, and I think about playing my butterfly guard because see, sometimes I kind of you know, in that, in that presence in there, right? And I was here, the guy holding his sleeve, I said, well, I'm gonna do my, my body flight, right? And uh, what I do, I put my foot on the floor, right? I can't control the chest that I can push him. You know, some people like it here. I like it here on the other side, because it's a kind of, uh, this is the foot that you're gonna you set it in, right? And uh, I'm here, right? This foot is outside, maintain distance. This foot, I boy, I need to hold my head. You try to hold my head, hey. See? I put my hand on my knee. See, I'm right here. See? So the hand gets in the zip of the guy, well, you kind of, you know, you don't have pressure on him. Here, I can control the, the timing that I want to put my butterfly, right? I move my hip sideways, my hand is here, maintaining distance. And then foot goes to the floor, I sit. It's like the hand that I'm receiving on the guy. I'm seeing comfortable here. Like I told the other guys the other day, right? I don't care about him grabbing my legs, you know? But he's here right on top of my shoulder, see? He's uncomfortable here. He's moving here. The pressure here on my leg, I don't care too much, because if, if he stays there, he must sweep, you know? I could hold his sleeve. I could hold his sleeve, right? But he put the hand here. I could hold his arm. I have to have my head here. If they had the guys in front of me, I'd push it. Yeah. I wouldn't get here. Then I have the leverage, right? To get inside. But from here, easy sweep is just stretching my leg. Yeah. Then it goes, right? One more time. Let me get to the, the butterfly guard, right? Yeah, I was, right? Controlling the sleeve of the guy. And this side, my knee comes in and my hand is here. I don't grab anything right now. 
See, I don't see any pressure here, I don't need to grab it, right? Oh, I want to do my scissor, my, my butterfly here. See, the foot goes in place because they're gonna drop all at the same time. Maintaining, here I am. Right from here, hey. See? Hard for him to stay there, because I'm gonna pull him. From the top, stretch the bottom, right? Close guard. Ah, let's go on here. Here I am. Hand on my knee, right? Now I'm gonna do my sitting. I don't wanna sit here. Hard for me to move him. I wanna sit here, right? That I can get my positions here. Everybody knows how to get to the butterfly guard there, guys? You wanna see one more time? You got it. Everybody got it? Yes. Yeah? Okay, take a look at here. If you know how to get here, I'm gonna go to his back here. I'm gonna step, pull him forward. The butt, butt of uh, wizard here. Yeah. He's sucking down the brass. Can't go, right? He's trying to get his back and go. I hook his leg. I don't know how to roll him over. Right? I got here, right? Oh, it's a wrestling. Yeah, I'm going to push out, but I'm going to miss it. And here, I'm in the same position. I hook his leg to my foot. I'm going to roll here. Pull him on me, like a rock in here. Kick, stop. Butterfly, step outside, hook, right? I can put even my knee behind here, go inside. Don't show this one, professor. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got it? One, two, three. Right? 
I like to get more than he did. A lot of times, the guy comes here, he puts weight on me. Oh, man. Any word, no, what are you gonna do here, right? If I wanna close my guard again, I have to let it go, he's asleep. Just let it go, just maybe kick my legs, he's back where he was before. I'm not worried about the guy passing my guard, right? See, if you do a slow the drill, right? I was here, I get my lasso, right? I come inside here. That's when the guy pulls the weight for me. Wow, my leg now is stuck. Can't get out of here. Let it go, this lift. Grab his triceps, kick your legs. Yeah. Then I, I can't close my guard, right? Let's say this guy now, he stayed on his knees, right? Back right here. I got my lasso. I put my foot. Right? He puts the weight to me, right? Yeah, he's here, but he's still on his knees. Oh, I'll do that, man. What the fuck is this? Okay. He thinks, well, this guy now got stuck. Right? I was here. Oh, the guy got stuck. I get here. I'm going to kick this leg and push his hand. See? Now, I can catch the guy here. See? Yeah. Okay. Lasso, in. I bring the guy in. Right? I let him go with this one here, and I grab on his triceps. I want him here. See? Maintaining that hand, I'm going to stretch the other one and kick it. Right? Now my triangle positions set up here, right? Stuff that I can maintain the duty here that I can start progressing in for submission, right? Last time, guys. Closer is the better. Okay, the guy thinks about that, though. I gotta put pressure on the duty. Oh, thank you very much. So I better go to sleep. Triceps. Keep your leg, push the hand. Lock him in, right? Triangle, control of the leg, homoplata, all kinds of stuff. Right? Let me see if you guys can do that setup there. One, two, three. Guys in the bottom. Why? Right, because those guys are not really skilled, they're gonna die fast. 
Okay, that's the bad news. The more ranked guys are closer to the master, the king. Because uh, you see, some people die, some people survive, but the kingdom must be alive. We continue for new generations, they're gonna share prosperity for everybody. That's the history of all the ranks. The more ranked you are, closer to the front you're gonna be. Because you're more skilled and you have to defend the flags of your team, right? That's what I learned last year. And you know, kind of, uh, I only had one instructor, Carson Gracie, and I, you know, I had something, and I thought uh, whatever I had for him, and for my team, and for myself. You know, but this, uh, you know, people will train anywhere, but I tell you, man, I kind of know. Uh, I'm proud that, uh, you know, that uh, I had uh, the lineage going. You know, that's the thing. But you guys know now that I kind of put your time and effort, and someday you're going to be here shoulder to shoulder. Thank you guys very much. I hope you guys had a good time. If you have any questions, ask for Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. I'm coming for you. Oh. Oh.